Hi, I'm Judy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. What I'm going to share today is the protein injection method of botulinum toxin. Since botulinum toxin product entered the medical aesthetic industry, they have been quickly welcomed by many clinics because of their excellent ability to reduce wrinkles and their max as an excellent supplier of botulinum toxin products. We are also asked some questions about treatment frequently, such as how to do the treatment to get a better effect. Today we will give a detailed description of the treatment for forehand wrinkles. Let's take 100U petroleum toxin product as an example. Generally, we will recommend it 2 ml of normal saline for dilution. This is only the recommended dilution concentration. You can also use 2.5 ml or 3 ml for dilution. It depends on your habit. Ok, let's look at the picture. This is the most conventional injection method, subcutaneously injection. This injection method is mainly suitable for young people. We can see that there are two rows of point above. How to determine these two rows of point and how many units to inject at each side is the focus of this video. First, row of injection points. Draw a horizontal line on the midline between the eyeball and higher line, and then hit two to three points on each side. Can be adjusted according to the actual need of the patients. Our injection point in the first row is determined. Second row of injection point in the middle of the first row injection point and higher line. Spaced injection from the injection point in the first row. About three points will be okay. When injecting, you need to pay attention to the outermost point. We can see that this point is not perpendicular to the eyeball peak, but diagonally above the eyeball peak. How to determine this point? This point can be determined diagonally above the eyeball peak, following the direction of muscle, contracting and tattling 15 to 20 degrees. So what is the problem with vertical injection? If we perform vertical injection, because the frontal muscle above the eyeball are not completely paralyzed, the tile of the eyeball is prone to uplift. If this happens, you can pick another point about 2 cm diagonally above the eyeballs. After a few days, this situation will ease. When performing subcutaneous injection, the recommended injection dosage for each point is 2.5 U. If the patient's skin is too thin, then the needle is inserted vertically or obliquely. After it feels that it's hit the bone, back it up a little, and then perform the injection. This is today's introduction to conventionally injection method, which are mainly suitable for young people. How to deal with surf skin lacity? Don't miss the next video. Focus on the aesthetic. Focus on your need. I'm Judy, your trusted partner. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy, please subscribe to leave your comments down below. Bye for now.